Hello, this video is gonna be a continuation of my previous video on uh, OSGI configurations. So in this video, I'm gonna be explaining more about OSGI configurations. So in the previous video, I explained about uh, how do you create an OSGI configuration. You use the component annotation and uh, for all the configurable properties, you use the property annotation. So this is one way of defining an OSGI configuration. But there is another way to define an OSGI configuration and uh, I'm gonna show it to you. So for this demonstration, I have created another OSGI configuration. So all these configurations, this name, this password, this gender, all of these configurations are same, but here I'm defining all these properties outside my class. So inside my class, I still have those uh, static final string variables, which serves as key for my configurations. But now I'm creating my properties outside the class. So for that, I'm using the properties annotation and within this properties annotation, I'm passing in an array of property and all these different properties, their name attribute defines which entry in my configuration this property entry represents. So it's a very clean way of defining all these properties in, uh, in my configuration and all of these properties, they are grouped together. And if I have to make any change in some property, then I know exactly where I can find all those properties. Rest all the things are exactly the same in this configuration as well. There's this activate method and inside this activate method, there's this component context from the component context I get the properties and uh, from the properties I get the get the individual configurations and my instance variables now this class serves the purpose of saving your configuration but how do I retrieve all these configurations in another Java class well there's one service in AEM which serves that purpose and that service is configuration admin so let me just show you an example of that as well so I have this configuration in Java and if I check the entry for this configuration in uh, in my Felix console, what will I get is the PID for this uh, for this configuration. So this is my configuration, and when I check this configuration, then I can see that the PID of this configuration this is exactly same as name of this class along with the package within which uh, this class has been created. So this PID, this will come in handy when we are using uh, our configuration admin service to retrieve uh, retrieve the values from this configuration. So now let's see the code. I have created a servlet for this. Now the sling servlet, it's also an OSGI component, which is represented by this component annotation here. So that is why within my servlet, I can use the reference annotation to get the object of configuration admin. So retrieving the configuration object using uh, our configuration admin is very simple. You just do configuration admin dot get configuration and you pass in the PID with which you are uh, configuration has been saved so for getting the PID what I'm doing is I'm getting the class object for my person configuration IMPL and I'm getting the name of it so this will get me the full canonical name of this person configuration and once I get the configuration object then I can simply get the properties from the configuration and then I can retrieve the configurations from this map as I was doing in the activate method previously one thing to remember here is that this dictionary map it will give me a general object so I need to cast this object in the data type that I used when I created this property so for example when I created the name property it was of type strings so that is why I need to type cast this as a string object similarly the multi field config I saved that as a string array let me just show you so here I converted the configuration that I was getting from the component context into a string array. So that is by while retrieving the property, I need to cast this into a string object. The rest all the code is quite straightforward. I created a JSON object. I saved all the configuration entries that I was getting inside the JSON object. And then I returned as a response. So let's just see the response from this, uh, this servlet. And let's just confirm that this is same as the configuration values that uh, we have saved. So configuration name, gender, phone number, all these configurations, they are same as what are saved in the, in the configurations. And if I change some configuration, say I remove these phone numbers and then I refresh the servlet and it should show me the updated configuration here. So this means that my configuration admin is working and I'm getting the latest values from the configuration. Now there is another way to retrieve these configurations. 
so this is my configuration class and i have marked this as an osgs service so what i can do within my servlet is instead of getting the configuration admin using the reference annotation i can directly get the person configuration using the reference annotation now because now i have made this as an osgs service so within this servlet i have done exactly this i have used the reference annotation to get the person configuration and as i'm already getting the person configuration object from osgi i don't need to get a map first and then retrieve my properties from from the map i can directly call the methods of this class i can directly do get string configuration get drop down configuration and i'll get the uh, all those configurations now you will get the same result this way as well but i prefer the configuration admin way simply because an osgi service is not meant to uh, save the state of uh, of a configuration it is not meant to be used as a pojo object but it's a personal preference now moving forward let's uh, let's talk about configuration factories so in your felix console you might have seen uh, some logging configurations and when you click on it then it will create a new configuration for you so those type of configurations they are called factory configurations and you can create those configurations by passing in a value called configuration factory equals to true in your component annotation so here i have created a configuration factory and all the different entries of this configuration factory they'll have just uh, just one entry this name uh, specified here so i'm not doing anything else in this class i'm just getting the component context and i'm saving the configuration value in this instance variable using the the map that i get from the component context but how do you retrieve all those different configurations let me just show you in felix console so i have this configuration factory and this configuration factory has uh, three different entries now it has two different pids one is the factory pid which is this one and the other one is the pid that i showed to you earlier so with this pid if you do configuration admin dot get and you pass in this pid you will get the object pertaining to this specific configuration but the problem here is this dynamic part because all these different uh, configurations they are spawned from the same java class so that is why in the pid this special entry is appended and all these uh, all these different configurations just to differentiate between these uh, these configurations so that is why these different configurations they have the same factory pid but they have different pids and these pids they just differ by this uh, this last entry so in order to get the list of all these different configurations from uh, from configuration admin you cannot use get configuration instead you need to use another method so for that i have created another servlet and inside this servlet as well i'm using the reference annotation to get the get the configuration admin object once i get the configuration admin then i can call configuration admin dot list configuration and as a parameter meter for this method i can pass in the factory pid in this form so here you pass in factory pid equals to your key for which you want to get all the configuration and then enclose these within these uh, circular brackets so you will get the list of these configurations and you can iterate over this configuration list and retrieve the individual configuration using its uh, property map so this way you can get the configurations from the uh, configuration factory now let's talk about defining values for these configurations so the problem is every time you set up a new aem instance you need to configure all the different properties that you have in your project so for example you want to set up a new dev instance and you know, deploy your code on uh, on the new instance so now what you need to do is you need to configure all the different uh, configurations that you have in felix console manually so in order to solve your problem what you can do is you can make the configuration values part of your code deployment and how you do this is you use the osci config node so in the previous video i showed that i created this uh, person configuration impl and for this configuration i have created an osci config node so the primary type of this node is going to be sling OSCI config and all these different properties that I have in this node their name is same as what I defined in my java class and their value is whichever value that I want to give them so what will happen is that when I deploy my code on AEM instance then AEM will figure out from the name of this node so this name it is same as the canonical name of the configuration class for which I am defining all these properties so AEM will 
give all these different properties to the class with the deployment and I don't have to manually go to Felix console and then uh, configure all these different properties myself and this is how I make the configuration values as part of my deployment now I have one question related to this that I want to ask you guys let's uh, let's take a scenario of a configuration that uh, I have created let's call it ABC so for ABC I have not created an OSGI config because I know that uh, for the configuration value uh, for my configuration ABC if I make that as a part of my code then this uh, then this value of the configuration it is going to be deployed with uh, every deployment of the code and the author of the site they want to change the configuration every few days so that is why i cannot make the value of the configuration as part of my code now the main problem here is that in a typical development environment uh, we have one or two author instances but we have multiple published instances now changing the value of the configuration on an author environment every once in a while that is okay but how do you replicate the configuration value from uh, this author environment to all those published environments let me just show you the way that I would do it I would go to my CRX and then I'll go to app system and uh, config and here I'll have this configuration I can go to the replicate tab and then I can just replicate this uh, configuration now this is the way I would replicate uh, the configuration values but doing a replication from CRX it just does not seem right to me so let me know in the comments below what you would do in such a scenario and how you would move your configuration from author environment to publish environment and if you have any questions related to configuration please uh, feel free to post them as well hope this video was helpful in explaining the topics that I left out in in the previous video and as usual thanks for watching